Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. This is JJLA Reacts. I'm an actor. We're on strike. So I'm going to make some reaction videos. Let's do it. Today we're checking out top 10 scary ghost videos for my 4 million subscribers. Let's check it out. The Florida Phantom. Late one night around 3 a.m., a family in Florida is alarmed when the ring video camera detects movement in their backyard. When they check the footage, things take a very creepy turn. in their backyard flips over as what looks to be an eerie smoke-like figure seems to fly right through it. Now, normally I would try to take a closer look at this and find some simple explanation for a capture like this. Smoke, mist, a bug on the lens, and so on. But this strange figure seems to hold its shape and appears to have a face, torso, and two outstretched arms as it floats along and out of sight. Even creepier, it then seems to return and can be seen moving in the other direction further down in the backyard. Now, if it was the wind and just smoke or mist, then surely it would have changed form as it moved or dissipated completely. And also the hammock moving as the figure passes through it is just weird. So is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It looks a little too cartoony to be real. Could be, but that could be faked. It just looks like a little kid drew a 2D figure of a ghost. You know, it looks like Casper. I'm gonna say fake. Fake. You decide. Fake. Don't look up. Japanese paranormal investigator Takeuchi from the YouTube channel Takeuchi Camera sets out to investigate a long abandoned house that at one time was flooded and partially submerged. He has no idea what happened to the owners of the house or why it was left abandoned. So, Takeuchi immediately finds it extremely odd that there are no stairs leading up to the house's attic. He brings in a ladder so that he can investigate the inaccessible upper floor. Ask him Takeuchi for it. climbs the ladder with his camera and takes a peek into the attic. What happens next is truly terrifying. I saw a leg. Yes. I did. Okay. Where did the baby leg go? Takeuchi's camera captures two extremely pale, childlike feet standing on the upper attic floor. But as the investigator climbs up, he doesn't appear to see anything with his own naked eye. He also does not do a full panoramic view of what's inside the attic, so this kid could still be in there. Um, you know, could be his nephew, and he brought him there with him. And now he's just hiding behind him. Easily faked. And when he pans the camera back around, the creepy little feet have disappeared. While looking through the attic, the light on his camera suddenly turns off. 
屋根裏部屋にねそのなんて言うんですかあはいはちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待ってライト消えたええこれ始まってるちょっと難しいえライト消えてるなんでえ何やった今のどういうことどういうことえまた消えたはマジマジちょちょ待って待って待って待って待って待って待って待ってちょっと待ってちょっとも,もう一回試してみようかえー、マジもう一回オンにしてみます全然あかんわちょっと帰ろう With an unreliable light, Takeuchi decides to just end his investigation right then But, did you see it? After it sitting in the darkness for a, a bit, person. Takeuchi's light comes back on for about two seconds There's his nephew. The same pale, unexplained legs can be seen again, this time moving quickly out of sight. The investigator had no idea what he had captured until he reviewed his footage later at home. So did Takeuchi capture the spirit of whoever used to live in the creepy, abandoned house? Could the previous owners have met a tragic fate during a dangerous flood? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire terrifying- I'll tell you what I think. Fake. Fake. Investigation over on the YouTube channel, Takeuchi Camera. Try a little hard, y'all. Visitors. This next video is a bit of a mystery as there is no source. The only info I found is that the footage was allegedly captured by a residential security camera somewhere in Vietnam. So, a woman hears strange sounds coming from outside her home. She goes to check out the odd noises, and this is when things start to get really weird is that a little kid a small figure about the height of a toddler can be seen running off into the shadows but another small figure can be spotted just outside the gate. Leprechauns. Whatever it is seems to throw some kind of dust or sand over the fence at the confused oh. and horrified woman. Now, it's unknown what is thrown, and without a source, it's impossible to know just what the hell is going on here. But viewers of the video believe that the woman had an encounter with some kind of small creatures, or possibly even spirits. But what do you think? Let me know. We need scary video. That was convincing. It was just weird enough that it could be real. It wasn't some guy looking for ghosts. I don't know. I'm going to say question mark on that one. Possibly. Could have been faked. So if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at Nukes. Hey, yeah, Le that's a great idea. Leave me recommendations for what I should react to in the comments. Top five at gmail.com. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. Over the last five years, Kent Burris has made it his mission to document and record everything abnormal that happens in his home, the Lamb House in Carmel, Maine. Kent says that his house is haunted by multiple spirits who regularly make themselves known through banging, bizarre EVPs, and often even manifesting as visible apparitions. Whoa, what the f was that? Now, I've featured Ghost of Carmel Main on Nuke's Top 5 many times through the years, so if you're a regular viewer, the channel should seem familiar. So, one afternoon after Ken has just come home from work, his grandson starts to complain that there are strange noises coming from upstairs. Just in case, Ken grabs his camera as he goes to investigate. What happens next is absolutely unnerving. As 
Ken is about to step inside the upstairs bedroom, a dark figure leaps out toward him, and then the bedroom door just slams shut on its own. Kent believes that it was his wife who slammed the door, possibly because she was getting dressed and didn't want to be on camera. He goes back downstairs where his grandson tells him that his wife isn't in that bedroom at all, but in a completely different room. No, I thought that was you up in the bedroom, sorry. Kent confirms that his wife isn't in the bedroom, and then he goes back upstairs to find an explanation for the door slamming in his face. Did you see it? Yes, what appears I to did. be the same dark shadow figure can be seen inside the bedroom as Kent pans around the room. But when Kent flips the light on, there's nobody there. So did Kent capture even more paranormal evidence in his home? I leave that up to you to decide. That's pretty convincing. Um, I'm gonna say plausible. That looks... that didn't look like CGI. That looked like it was picked up by the camera. I don't know how you would fake that exactly. I'm gonna say plausible. Could be real. 98% real, I'm gonna say. You can watch all of Ken's captures and recordings over on his YouTube channel. Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Creeper. Adrian Montenegro and his family are spending some fun family time together on the Cerro de la Silla mountain in the city of Monterrey, Mexico. But then something very weird happens. I see a person back there. <laughs> the family didn't see or hear anything at the time and they have no idea who or what this mysterious figure is or what the person was doing. Whoever or whatever it is appears to be watching the family being careful about maneuvering around in the dark so as not to be seen. So the question is, is this a paranormal event caught on camera? Or worse, is it a person? A person creepily watching the family from the edge of the darkness. You decide. That looks like a person to me. I'm gonna say they caught a person that they didn't know was there. That's what I think it was. Maybe they knew he was there, but it didn't seem like they were trying to capture anything paranormal. So that, that makes it slightly more plausible. Passing through. To this me. next video was sent in by Nuke's top five viewer Shahar from Israel. Shahar says in her email that one night she and her friends were hanging out in the woods near her house, just having fun and filming some random videos. Then something very odd happens that they still can't explain to this day. Die, die. Ad achshav eshmat taot ken? Nimasli. Bo tagid lehem taemet ma chora vlogim. Chaverim. Ani lo meshuhad. Tagid taemet bil shaker. Ani taemet ne ne. Taemet shelo tavino. Rakal tarbitzi. Istam lo. Ani taemet ne ne. Shmai sal. Ani taemet ne ne. Imale. You have meshuhad sham. The three friends are completely unaware as a strange translucent white figure seems to float right by them. Then Shahar's friend spots a dark shadowy figure off to the right. They all look and they see what they describe as quote, a black shadow running off into the woods. Shahar explains that the white figure caught on camera earlier was moving in the same direction where they spotted the black shadow a moment later. When they play back the footage, the group is pretty freaked out. They cut the camera 
and just head home. School's out. That's... I feel like that's plausible because they left. They weren't trying... They weren't looking for anything paranormal. The mist that floated behind the guy didn't look like CGI. I didn't see any weird effects, artifacts. I'm going to say plausible. Plausible. Popular urban explorer Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill sets out to explore the old Robert Fulton Elementary School in Cleveland, Ohio. The school was built back in 1929, and after a decline in student enrollments, it eventually closed in 2011. In the dark of night, Chris finds a way inside the old school. He plans to capture on video the remains of what used to be a stunning historic interior. But almost immediately, Chris starts to find signs that he might not be alone inside the abandoned school. Homeless people been here. They're still in there. As Chris continues to explore the massive building, he definitely starts to suspect that there might be someone else inside. Look at this. This will make a good thumbnail. Don't go in there. Chris finds a door that seems to have been blocked off with no way to enter. So the explorer finds a way around it by entering through the classroom next door. Idiot. And this is when things take a terrifying turn. a sign on the door that says keep out. Chris gets a little too close to someone that seems to be hiding in one of the rooms inside the school. Where? Chris makes a run for it, and luckily the stranger doesn't seem to follow. But that's not all that happened during Chris's exploration. I because not long him. after he entered the abandoned building, he captured something on camera that he didn't even see at the time. Did you see it? No, All the way in the back of the hallway, someone can be seen walking into one of the classrooms. After watching the footage back, Chris now wonders if he was being watched and followed by some creeper the entire time that he was inside the school. He's the creeper. And once again, this is why I always say 
Real people are way scarier than anything paranormal. I don't see anybody. You can watch this entire exploration and many more over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. I think this guy was just walking up on some unhoused folks and they were sleeping and he terrified them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to say that was not paranormal. That was just creepy because, okay, I guess I'm judging these on whether they are paranormal or not. So I'm going to say fake, not paranormal. The unwanted roommate. Take that user, username who zero moved into a new apartment in Poland. But soon after he got settled in, he says that he began to experience strange poltergeist activity. These are a few of the scarier encounters that he was able to capture. So, one night Who Zero is startled from his sleep. <gasps> Who Zero goes to check a violent pounding at the door, but there's no one there. His bedroom door slams shut behind him, and when he opens the door again, a chair that had been sitting all the way behind the door frame violently slides across the floor right in front of him. Cut to another night, and Who Zero is once again not getting any rest in his haunted apartment. Hey, ogólnie, to od jakiegoś czasu cały czas. Cały czas coś właśnie takie dziwne hałasy. A washing machine in my bathroom. A bottle in the hallway smashes to the ground, the lights flash, and when Who Zero goes to check, the bathroom faucet is just running on its own. Even creepier, the light in the hall mysteriously seems to just keep turning off, and the bathroom door slowly creaks open by itself. At this point, Who Zero has started to get fed up with the strange paranormal activity in his apartment, but it's about to get even worse. Who Zero decides to just lock his door and try to ignore the noises in this hallway. I would have locked my door the first thing. Laptop. But whatever is in the apartment does not seem to like it at all. The doorknob to the room can actually be seen moving, but when Who Zero ignores the knocking, the pounding on the wood becomes violent. And now it's a little later the same night, and the pounding on the door comes back yet again. Who Zero has had enough. He decides to charge out into the hallway to confront whatever is there. It did not go well. Oh, f what the f 
What the f***? Whoa! Oh. All hell breaks loose and Huzero runs back to his bedroom to escape. But his recording cuts short just as his own bedroom door slams shut right in his face. Now, locking him out. Since these videos were recorded, username Huzero has deleted his TikTok account. Rumors around the internet maintain that the activity in his apartment only got worse and he just decided to move out. It is claimed that Who Zero deleted his TikTok page because he believed that the negative energy from the videos might follow him to his new home. But everything's on the internet forever. Again, that is all just rumor. So are these videos real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. It could be hoaxed. It that's a plausible, that's, that could be faked. The guy seemed genuinely scared. See, this shot right here where he pans into the kitchen and then the frying pan falls on the floor, that just seemed like too good to be true. He turns the camera to the kitchen and then the frying pan falls. I'm going to say plausible, plausible, but fakeable at the same time guests in the graveyard. Popular paranormal investigator Frank from the YouTube channel Franco TV travels abroad to Trujillo, Peru to investigate an allegedly severely haunted cemetery. The site So this guy has a channel about paranormal stuff. So already that he I I'm suspicious. It's located in a very dangerous area of the city, so it's not surprising that Frank is a little nervous to be there. He keeps his eyes open for any suspicious activity especially any dangerous people. It's dark out and getting very late when Frank begins his investigation, and it's not long before he spots exactly what he was afraid of. Ceremony going on? I don't know if they're visiting someone or what. I can barely see with this, so I'm gonna have to get a little bit closer. Witches. I don't find that right very now, creepy. I'm hiding with behind a tomb area. The location where I was just at is further way up there. I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but uh, it's just way up there. It's not, but I'm not seeing any signs of movement. They're still there in the dark. I'm just kind of waiting here. Wait, I got movement over there. Look, they're leaving. One, two, three, four. Those are people. A group of people seem to perform some kind of odd cryptic ritual inside the graveyard. After they finally leave, Franco checks out the spot where the group had gathered. He discovers what looks like a voodoo doll along with candles and other seemingly sinister objects. But then, strangely, Franco suddenly begins to hear the sound of laughter coming from somewhere amongst the graves. What happens next is downright chilling. What the hell is that? Hola. Hola. Oh, what was that? Hola. Oh, 
Holy I literally saw something peeking out at me right over here. I saw it. It's your little sister. Someone can be seen staring at Frank from behind the mausoleum, but when he quickly hurries over to check, there's no one there. Horrified by what he just experienced, Franco no longer feels safe and decides to just call it a night. Now, could it be that this terrifying encounter had something to do with the unknown ritual that the strange group performed? And are the stories true that the cemetery is truly haunted? Let me know what you think. Fake, fake, fake. Exciting. One seemingly ordinary night a few weeks ago, the Las Vegas Police Department received a very bizarre emergency phone call. An audibly upset young man related a very frightening encounter that was allegedly taking place right in his own backyard. There's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we so two, we terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Okay. Like, like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes and... And they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. Las Vegas resident Angel frantically calls 911 after he and his brother hear something huge fall from the sky and land right in their backyard. The impact is so loud that it actually creates an audible shockwave. The two brothers then find tall creatures they can only describe as, well, aliens. Now, normally the police would consider such a crazy call to be nothing more than a prank. But police officer Evelyn from the Las Vegas Police Department actually sees and captures something on her body camera that makes the officers take the call much more seriously. No. Oh. I don't know. Well, that's not a car. I'm going to be hiding with that the size of a shooting star. I like that. I like that. I got like that. An unidentified object emitting green light falls from the sky above Las Vegas just before Angel and his family call 911. So, two Las Vegas patrol officers respond to the call. Oh, I don't know. I'm so nervous right now. I have butterflies, bro. Evelyn saw a shooting star, then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. I'd be creeped out. Me and my brother, we just looked. Did look? you see it? Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, me and him saw it. What'd you see? It was like a... It was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a long tessie top. I'm not gonna BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything yeah, land in your backyard? Or? They see like a big... That's what they say. They see like a big... Uh, like a big something with light. Can we go that side? I want to stay Yeah, we yeah, can go that side. Any, do any dogs or anything? No, no please, can you check because these kids not gonna let me sleep tonight. Oh yeah, I bet. I wouldn't be sleeping either. Two people see stuff all the time. I've never seen problem. this whole video. I've actually seen this before, but what I saw right now, I usually cut up. I got scared. You guys don't. I mean, you guys seem legit scared, so I don't blame you. Did you see it? No. I'm kind of curious now. I want to. I want to know if there's aliens. I want to the iPhone. I say, maybe I, I want to. It was like they, they, like, well, like this like, Where did you? Where did they go? Well, they said that. I'm gonna show you. Do you have a dirt backyard? Can you yeah, show me if okay. there's a? Uh... Now the backyard has been blurred out from the police body cam footage before release, and the police say that this is for quote privacy reasons. And uh, I'm not gonna put on a full tinfoil hat for this, but I've never seen police footage blurred out like this, especially when the residents have already given permission. But, but who knows? And anyway, the officer doesn't find anyone or anything on the family's property. Now with everything that has transpired that night, the two officers are a little freaked out, but they still crack a few jokes with the family before leaving. All right, man. We appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see anything else. I want to find some there. aliens. I know. <laughs> Legit, bro. Well, hey, 
if those nine foot beings come back into your backyard, you call the police and we'll come back here. Okay? No, hey, if those, if those, if those yeah. nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> that, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> this strange story was picked up by the local news and went absolutely viral as millions of viewers watched the footage and wondered whether extraterrestrial beings had crash landed into this Las Vegas backyard. But the story goes even deeper because there were multiple eyewitness reports and homeowner Jessica Germana shared her ring camera footage that also captured the bizarre object falling from the sky. Hmm. Since the original news report went viral, Angel has went public and shared his story on YouTube and social media, along with a video that his brother took shortly before calling 911. Now Angel claims that they could see a tall, skinny, alien-like creature behind the forklift. And many viewers of the footage swear that they can see a creature hiding in the darkness in this video. Let's slow it down. And I want you to look at the lower right in the fence. You see some motion there. And at first, I thought it was shadows. But as you look closer, you can actually see there are three points. There's sort of a triangle. And there's actually something you can see it's breaching the fence. It's like a hand. Look out beyond the section I highlight here. You can see a sort of a shadow gets smaller, like it's getting behind that forklift, and then a light turning on, or an eye, or whatever it is. But uh, I honestly don't see anything here other than maybe some heavy video compression and uh, flashlight shadows. However, the family's reaction does seem genuine, and they seem to be terrified of something they're seeing in their backyard. Along with the captured footage of the object falling from the sky at the exact same time, it does make you wonder, just what happened that night? Is it aliens? Or just some crazy shit? Let me know what you think. Hmm. I remember hearing about this in the news when it happened. The one thing that makes me think it's fake is that they picked up the phone to call the cops, but they didn't pick up the phone to shoot a video. Undecided. Undecided. Could be. Maybe not. Could be. I don't know. Could be. Could be. Probably not, but could be. Well, that was definitely a creepy video. Thanks for watching. Give me some recommendations of what to react to in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. See you all next time. Bye.